Welcome back to your 5-Minute Football Fix. I'm Stephen Miranda. I'm Jeff Ellis, and it's Wednesday, November 9th, 2011. Today, we give a very special goodbye to one of the league's most disliked players. Bye-bye. Tomorrow will be TGIT. Thank God it's Thursday as our nation's passion, not pastime, returns to Thursday night television. Adam Pac-Mac Jones is opening a dangerous can of worms. And we preview that game that Pac-Man worms, I mean, warns, warns us about, not worms us about, no. the Bengals versus Steelers. <laughs> All right, he's opening a can of worms. Uh, he didn't he's warm us. He's not warming us. Well, I don't want game. him to get near me with worms. <laughs> I don't like worms. worms but first, icky. right now, we are saying goodbye, goodbye to a Dislike player. He was what fourth on the list that we put out yesterday of he most did. disliked players. Albert Hainsworth. Bye bye. I'm giving him my rose parade wave, Steve. Is that what it is? I am a rose queen. Yeah, you your body should be stationary though. It is. Your so I've just moves. gone there. There you do go. Do the windshield wiper. There goodbye. you go. And then there's when you get tired, you can do this wave. Albert, this is for you. Hainsworth. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I thought you were gonna Dude. put. I thought you were gonna put me doing the conditioning test no, up there. Oh no, uh, no! But no, uh, he is gone. Albert Hainsworth, uh, basically well, will, will released. Not at all. Uh, released by the New England Patriots in six games. Jeffrey Dude had three tackles, and the Patriots said, "Look, our experiment with you is over. See ya. Wouldn't want to be." You. And we actually have very rare footage of this press conference involving a very enthusiastic journalist and Bill Belichick from. The New England Patriots. Uh, Coach, uh, why did you release Albert Hainsworth? Uh, We just didn't think it was in the best interest of the team to continue forward in the present situation. Did it have anything to do with uh, Albert Hainsworth and and shouting at uh, defensive line coach uh, Pepper Johnson? As the Patriots organization, we felt it was in the best interest of the club to move in a different direction. So it had nothing to do with that. You just weren't happy with Albert uh, Hainsworth's performance. Is that it? It just didn't work out. There you go. That's pretty much the way it played out. Uh, it's hard to talk to Belichick. It's not hard. You're I just not going to get anything. I don't ever want to interview him. Steven, we're scheduled sh- to go there this year. I know we are. <laughs> it's scarce. He scares Wait a me. minute. You know they've changed that game, by the way. We'll talk off air. Anyway. <laughs> Apparently we need to talk about that. Has it been flexed? Uh, it has been flexed. Oh, it has been schedule flexed. so simple. Okay, Albert Hainsworth gone. We're happy about that. Tomorrow will yes. be TGIT. Thank, Thank God, God it's, it's Thursday. Thursday. Thursday night football returns. Thursday. Now we got football on Thursdays. We got college football on Fridays. We got college football on Saturdays. We got pro football on Sundays. We got pro football on Mondays. Five days of football. You're leaving out <laughs> high school football on Fridays. For oh, that's right. That's right. The high CIF playoffs are beginning soon. Oh, uh, Good stuff, man. But this Thursday, we've got a great game, Jeffrey. The Oakland Raiders and San Diego Chargers, both teams tied atop the AFC West, although be it just at 4-4. Four and four. Hey, But it's a divisional it's a game. It's a divisional battle. And it happens this Thursday. Why aren't we Since at this one? Because we have an, an obligation. Yes, we do actually. have an obligation. So, now our sincere apologies go out to CBS and the Big Bang Theory. NBC and Community, yep. Community, I think it's called. Yes. And ABC with their relaunch of Charlie's Angels Eesh. and Fox with The X Factor. Simon, sorry. Well, we're not saying really uh, sorry to ABC's Charlie's Angels because it's already been canceled. What? They, <laughs> they're just showing like the episodes. That they <laughs> I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, it's already gone. But wow. any, all the other shows, you got football now to deal with, baby. You're going down. <laughs> It doesn't matter that it's on NFL Network. It's still going to get a bigger share. It's not even going to show in Time Warner households. It's still going to win. Those people are going to go to bars in their neighbors' houses. Anyways, Adam Pac-Man Jones. Now, come on. Waka, 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 waka. <laughs> he doesn't like to get called at, at Pac-Man, but you know what? That's what we're calling it. When the, when the nickname fits, wear it. And so, anyways, Pac-Man Jones has uh, tweeted, gone to tweeting uh, with Inky and Blinky and Slinky and what are all those No, other... he hasn't. No, okay. He's but he did go to Twitter. to Twitter. He did go to Twitter, and he tweeted out. He says, it's a great week to be a Bengal. Let's go beat Pitt's ass, and we need our 12 man. Now, Steven, a lot of people want to <laughs> give him a hard time about not writing the 12th man. They say yes. the 12th man. Well, did you hear? You hear how I read it. We need our 12th man. I know, but it's Twitter, and there's a lot of abbreviations and liberties given to people. <laughs> I think it's far more dangerous that he left the TH off 
then really, you really want to go and wake the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, especially coming really? off a loss. They're angry. They're chasing you by a half a game. Really? Adam, shh, yeah. keep your mouth shut, boy, because this is going to be a brawl. I understand <laughs> it's the new. first time. He's new to this whole rivalry between the yeah, Bengals and the you Steelers. You do not want to get the body bags ready and prepped. Yes. This game is going to be fantastic. We love what Andy Dalton is doing. Well, you know, Steven, let's just get to it. Well, let's get let's to preview it. preview it. Pittsburgh at Cincinnati, 6-3 and three Steelers at 6-2 and two Bengals. The Bengals not only leading the NFC North, they're leading the entire AFC, Jeffrey. The entire AFC, they are number one. If the season ended today, they would have the number one seed in the AFC. Now, that's not going to be the case in six weeks. Don't worry. <laughs> However, this is going to be the first sellout of the season for the Bengals. Maybe that's why he was talking about the 12 man. He probably was talking about the 12 man. Because what do you that, think, real quickly? I, uh, who's winning this game? Steelers by... Seven. Steelers, just Steelers. I don't know how they're going to win, but they're going to do it. That's all the time we got. I'm Stephen Miranda. Jeff Ellis. For your five-minute football fix. Out. Out.